Praise Him. Hallelujah. What's going on? Happy Sunday morning, um, April 28th, 2024. Wow, where'd this month go? Time flies. <laughs> flies <laughs> when you're having fun, right? Um, following Jesus. Yes, today is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice. Hallelujah. <clears throat> And be glad in it, guys. It's quite early here. It's about quarter to six here, but we've been up since about 4.30 a.m. We woke the rooster up. I said, cock-a-doodle-doo, wake up. <laughs> we flipped the script on the rooster this morning, but uh, my wife had an early day at work. I have off today. I have to go in and help my boss out for a short time, but putting in some work for the Lord this morning, and this ain't even work. It's a joy. It's an honor and a privilege to bring you his word to make this world that's very dark a brighter and better place. Hallelujah. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice whoop, whoop, <laughs> and be glad in it. And to my brother Kevin out there, yes, this is my morning mug. <laughs> my morning mug right here and my morning mug of coffee as well. <laughs> Two mugs. <laughs> God bless you all out there, man. I got Folgers in my cup. The best part of waking up. It's not Folgers in my cup. But Jesus in my heart. <laughs> Praise the Lord, guys. And uh, Psalm 118, 24 says that this is the day the Lord has made. Let's all rejoice and be glad in it, okay? And I know it's kind of hard to rejoice these days. And I have a video coming up. The Lord has a video I will be doing um, coming up out of the upper room. Discipleship um, devotional. <clears throat> And it's about the book of Psalm, chapter 22, where David is going through a tough time. And then 23, just a, um, a, a psalm of praise of God, no matter what happens. And sometimes he doesn't hear our prayers, but God is always listening. And sometimes, you know, uh, like our parents, you know, when we are on our bicycles, um, you know, they take the training wheels off, but they're running next to us, right? Sometimes holding the back of the seat till you get your, your bearings, you know, till you get the wobbles out of the way. And you're, you finally got it straight, right? And you're cruising down, <clears throat> you know, the wobbles, right? My dad would hold the seat. My mom, my mom wasn't that fast, but my dad was there. He was a pretty quick guy, fast, and he would hold the seat, but then he'd let go. And I'd be like, oh, he let go. Oh, no. But God knows he can let go. God knows he can leave you alone for a moment and you're on your own because he knows that you're strong enough for this moment that you're in, guys. And look, sometimes on those bicycles we fell and, you know, it's the scrapes and bumps and bruises that make us tough through this life and make us stronger as people. God lets us go through things for this purpose, to be stronger, to be more like Jesus, to be more like God Almighty himself. Hallelujah. Um, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. He knows the thing. He knows the thoughts, right? Says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you a hope and a future. And God says here as well. Then you will call upon me and go pray to me, and I will listen to you. And this is what the Lord says. Seek Him with all your heart. He's there. He's always there. But sometimes when we pray, you know, in the video coming up later, you know, um. We think God's not there, but he never leaves or forsake us. So he might not take you out of the storm, out of the trial, the tribulation you're in. But guess what? He's right there with you, next to you, as you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right up in front of Goliath. And he's going to help you slay the giant in your path as he did David thousands of years ago, guys. And today, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I'm going to be quiet for a minute, which is hard for me. <laughs> because I'm so excited about the Lord. But just listen off in the background. You hear the beautiful birds chirping, guys. <clears throat> Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, right? Praise the Lord. Uh, Psalm 150, verse 6 says, and in the study note, this is very cool. The very breath that God gives us should be to praise him, to praise him. Hallelujah. As long as we live, we should praise our creator. By his breath, God created all things. First creation was Adam, right? He breathed his very breath into where? <clears throat> Back in Genesis, the first book of the Bible says, and he's the first human creation through the nose to get oxygen to the brain and then the body functions. Just like us when we're working out, when we're jogging. What does a trainer or your friends tell you? Breathe through your nose and out your mouth, right? God gave, and the oxygen we breathe, you know, 
is God's very breath keeping us all alive. And with it, <clears throat> we should give him praise just for waking up. Every heartbeat, we'd be thanking him all day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> praise the Lord, right? <clears throat> and um, it's just a beautiful thing, guys, you know? And this is what we should do. But um, it's Brother Daryl Mack. Brother Daryl, diddly, 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 dee, that be me. And I'm about to bring the good word to thee this morning. Hallelujah. Like that wasn't good enough. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. The Lord is always welcome in my house. Because as I got up here, Joshua 24, 15, up here on my wall. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And uh, I love that. I got it down at the Salvation Army. And, um, you know, it's it's just a beautiful thing. But the, the Bible scripture that's that i'm bringing to you right now the lord led me to bring is here in the book of uh joshua chapter one um verse six though be strong and of good courage for to this people you shall divide an inheritance of the land which i swore to the fathers to give them just as god um his commission to joshua here to just hold on to his faith you know as god was with moses before joshua god is with um us today as he was with these guys and men and women who were friends of God back in the day. Um, <clears throat> God never leaves or forsake us. Never ever does he do that. And, um, and, and verse nine, we jump, jump ahead. The Holy Spirit, you know, catching my eye right now as I'm going off, you know, speaking what I'm speaking, but the Holy Spirit, you know, the Lord directs these videos, you know, the, the mess ups and, you know, the, the mistakes are mine, but all of the good stuff is the Lord's. <laughs> but verse nine of Joshua one says, I have not, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He was with Moses. He was with Moses in front of Pharaoh. He got the Israelites free from Pharaoh and got them out of bondage of slavery. And, and God did that. God does that today through Jesus Christ, right? Um, spiritually out of Satan slavery of sin, right? Praise the Lord. But we don't need to be um, dismayed. And I, I, I love the study note here for this. The command to be strong and of good courage. I'm working out of the Nelson New King James Version, Nelson Study Bible. For verse 6, the study note says, The command to be strong and of good courage was for Joshua's encouragement, right? See, when we're encouraged, we can encourage others. When we're full of hope, we can give other people the hopeless hope. When we're full of love, we can give those who hate us and people who feel hated and make them feel loved. This is what God does in our lives. The, the presence of God is in our lives. And this is why I choose to be close to God, because I want to make this world literally a brighter and better place. And how can we do that? I can't do it in the flesh, which is dark, which everybody's walking around in. These spirits of demons and the flesh is dark. This world is dark. It's Satan's system. Hallelujah. But we need to be walking in the light of God. He is the light of the world. Jesus, light of the world, right? Let him shine through you as the sun is the physical light of the world. Jesus is the spiritual light of the world. And he shines through us. Praise the Lord. We're talking about a spiritual light, not the physical. <clears throat> it says here, and God repeated these words three times, right? Um, the people later affirmed Joshua using these precise words. David would do it later to encourage his son Solomon. See, so, you know, here's Joshua, a friend of God, hanging out with God and filled up on God's spirit. And he was encouraging these folks. David encouraged folks. I'm encouraging folks. Let God use you to encourage someone today. Wherever you go, say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is, the Lord's presence is heavy here this morning. So I'm sitting here. Had the box fan on, the fish pump, you know, the filter was going, <clears throat> making air little noises. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord said, cut off everything. And just listen to come my creations outside your door. I'm like, wow. It's a beautiful Michigan morning here, guys. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Hallelujah, my hometown. But my new hometown's in heaven. I'm just visiting here. And uh, I'm just putting in work for the Lord as you are, brothers and sisters. And I'm just bringing God's word today. I've um, got that spiritual cross up. I just don't wear one around my neck here under my shirt. But I carry one every day. And some days it gets really heavy. But the Lord sustains me and he gives me strength to push on with courage and strength to push on to help those in need of courage, hope, a word of wisdom, a word of love, kindness. Hallelujah.
All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that, man. What a beautiful little lesson, which was not even planned for today. And uh, I never know what the Lord is going to direct me to do. But let him work through you. I'm letting him work through me. Mich it stands for not Maryland, Maryland, but messenger. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I thank my boss and his wife, uh, two amazing people who love the Lord, um, blessed me with this shirt. And I really appreciate um, John and Rhonda. Good, good, good folks, man. And uh, But um, I just wanted to say, guys, um, just, you know, again, God is telling you today to be strong, be of good courage, and do not be afraid of anything you face today because you're meant to face it. David was in front of Goliath. He was meant to face that. You're meant to face the giant that's in your path today. Do not be afraid or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go because he's everywhere at one time because he is who he is, the great I am. Hallelujah. Peace be with you. And, uh, I love you, and I, and I pray for you daily, um, all my brothers and sisters out there fighting a good fight, and I pray mainly for the non-believer to find Jesus, to find salvation, but to find this love and encouragement and um, just peace and joy that only God can provide. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a great Sunday, and remember, the Lord loves you, and he's with you everywhere you go, so what? Fear not. Hallelujah. See ya. Peace be with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise him. He's so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. <laughs>